and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I am streaming to you from beautiful Budapest here in the heart of Europe. Otherwise, I am Canadian from West Coast Canada, basically the other side of the world where I'm from. Today, speaking part two, the cue card, a band nine example, we will do it together. Hello students, Mamur Beck, Pachu, Golnoza, Puza, Hikmatillo. Nice to see many students in the class, satisfying times. Good to see our members joining in. Also, while we wait for some more of your peers, a little bit about us. These lessons are brought to you by aehelp.com. For the academic IELTS, check us out there. And for the general version of the test, do check us out at G-I-E-L-T-S help. Dot com. That's generalisleshelp.com. On both of these websites, we have loads of materials to help you quickly and effectively improve your scores. This is our academic web portal here at aehelp.com. Click that big red button to join the premium package or click the green button to try it for free. For the general version of the tests, gilshelp.com. Press that big red button to join the premium package or the green button to try it for free. Hi, Hassan. Hi, Roshni. Hi, Ferdavs. I'm happy you made it into this class as well. Good for you. We will get into our task two cue card in just a moment. Uh, get our apps, Academic IELTS Help, General IELTS Help from Google Play or your Apple App Store. If you have any questions, students, about our products, about the exam, we're here to help you. Our goal, what drives us and our team is that you are successful in your life. We love getting letters from our students where they tell us that they've successfully immigrated to another country or entered a university. You can always communicate with us. Just send me an email, adrian at aehelp.com. Tomorrow, members will finish our task two and we'll do a speaking part three with everyone. So that will be Sunday's class. Then uh, we will have uh, no classes Monday, Tuesday, back on Wednesday the 8th. Uh, we'll have lots of classes coming up after the 8th. And here is the part two question for today. All right, students, this is a speaking class. Before we get deeply into this question, uh, please remember to speak, okay? So speak and repeat. Practice your English. Hear yourself speaking. Don't be shy, okay? Uh, a lot of people say children learn English or languages much faster than adults. Sure, yeah, their brains work really well, but one reason why children work uh, or learn languages so efficiently is because they're not shy. They're not shy to say whatever they think, whenever they want. And if you want to learn English quickly, that's what you should do. So make sure to speak as much as possible. When learning a language, think about speaking in confidence as a three-year-old, okay? Lots of confidence, lots of speaking. So students, uh, here we go with our cue card. Uh, again, of course, the speaking has three parts. Part one, you'll get some questions on a general topic. It'll take about four or five minutes. Then the uh, examiner will say, okay, that's the end of part one. Uh, now we will continue with part two. For part two, here, here is a cue card uh, with some questions. Don't turn that over yet. Here's some note paper. Here's a pencil. You will have one minute to review uh, your questions, think about your answers, write notes if you wish in the one minute, then you will have two minutes to speak. Uh, students, uh, it's really, really important that you use that one minute wisely, okay? So use that one minute wisely. One minute is 60 seconds. 60 seconds is a fair bit of time when it comes to thinking, okay? The human brain can think of a lot of good ideas in one minute as long as it knows the right approach. Uh, let's read the cue card carefully first, okay? So talk about an exercise 
you have thought of doing to help you think better. Hey, that's a good topic for what I was just saying. Let's read that one more time. Uh, I highly, highly recommend even to high level students that are strong in English to read this first bit twice. Okay. One of the most common mistakes is students don't pay enough attention to this introductory statement and they talk off topic and lose a band score. So a good strategy or a good trick is read this twice. Talk about an exercise you have thought of doing to help you think better. Okay. What is the activity or exercise? Where did this idea come from? How can this practice help improve your thinking? What do or did you need to make this idea a reality? You will have one to two minutes to talk about this topic. All right. And so first of all, you need to identify what you need to identify. Am I talking about a person, a place, an object, an event or an idea? Okay. All of the cue cards in uh, the IELTS speaking will deal with one of these five topics. Now I've seen some videos online where they're like predicting the topics for cue cards and essays in 2020. That's silly. Okay. Nobody can guess the topic of your next essay or your next cue card. It doesn't work like that. So please be careful. And you're right, Murasa, this is an idea. Okay. So here, uh, Hushnamo, you're right as well. Roshni, you're right. We're talking about an idea. Okay. One important point to keep in mind is that you can know that your topic in 2020 will be either a person, place, object, event, or idea. So I'm sure that you will be answering a cue card on one of these. Basically all information in the known universe for humans will fall into one of these categories. So here, a couple of you said, yeah, well, okay, here we're talking about an idea. So you identified that correctly. Okay. So it's an idea. And when you talk about an idea, you should always describe what it is. So describe the idea clearly the reason for the idea. Okay. Um, the time you had the idea, the requirements of the idea and the results of the idea. All right. So no matter what the idea might be and Rajveer, very nice. I love how you're really paying attention. Rajveer Singh, our member in the classes, because we did a similar topic the other week and you're right, Rajveer, it's time, reason, requirement, purpose, and results. So the idea itself, the reason for it, the time of the idea, the requirements, so what you need for your idea and the results of the idea, the outcome. As long as you mention all of these parts, you're going to answer this question accurately. I promise you that. Okay. And it's the same for people and objects and events. There are very clear points that you need to discuss for each one. Um, some people have uh, asked about this uh, past, present, future technique. Okay. So some people uh, talk about this uh, PPF. Uh, past, present, future. So say something about the past, present, future. Uh, this only works for some questions. Okay. So careful with this one. Okay. Careful. If you talk about the past, present, future, when the cue card is not asking you about the future or the past, your score will go down. Okay. Because you're talking off topic. So be really, really careful. This technique only works if the question asks you about what happened in the past, the present and the future. Otherwise don't talk about that 
because you're going off topic and the examiner might even stop you early because they feel like you're not answering the cue card. So be really, really careful. Okay. All right. So uh, we identified that this is an idea. We need to discuss this idea. We know that we have to cover these points. So what's my next step in my one minute planning? Okay. What's my next step? So let's call this step number two. So step number one, we figured out that it's an idea. Step number two, what do we do? It rhymes, it must be true. Okay. Rahul Preet says your first sentence, Rahul Preet, not yet. Okay, you need to activate your brain. Rajveer says, think of two or three ideas for this answer. Um, no, son, you cannot use past, present, future for this question, maybe. Uh, Ferdov says two or three ideas as well. Yeah, okay. Um, Hick Matillo says, think of a few ideas. Yeah, so think of two or three ideas that you can choose, okay? A, kind of a mistake, or I should say a weakness of many candidates is they choose one idea, they go, oh, that's my idea, and then they just go with it. Um, that's not very good because oftentimes your first answer, your first thought to the cue card might not be the best, okay? So keep that in mind, okay? Often, your first response answer to a cue card question might not be the best or easiest. So always think of at least a couple possibilities. Okay, always. So uh, let's do that now, okay? Um, it should be something easy to talk about and unique. So easy to talk about, okay? Don't talk about some really fancy memory game that you don't have any idea of how to describe. Be careful. So easy to talk about and unique. This means not every student is talking about this. Okay. So uh, give me some uh, options. So again, the question is an exercise you thought of doing to help you think better. Okay. So uh, what is or what are some exercises uh, that could help you think better? Okay, Ferdov says playing chess, meditation, crossword puzzle. Good. Those are all great Ferdovs. Okay, playing chess, meditation, um, crossword. puzzles. Okay. Let's see. Do we have some other? Preeti says swimming. Yeah, Preeti. Very good. Sure. Absolutely. Exercise. Why not? Paya Basak says yoga. How about that? Okay. Homer says IQ exercises or IQ tests. Eh, it might be tricky. Uh, Homer, again, brain exercises. What are we talking about? Okay. Um, so yoga, swimming, Okay, yeah, those are all fantastic. Playing cricket, walking. Uh, Maras, I don't know about walking. Um, it's an exercise you've thought of doing, right? So you should try to think of something original, right? Uh, boxing is not a bad one. Sun says boxing, sure. Martial arts combines physical sport with um, strategy at a high level. So boxing could be good. 
Athmin Oran says reading. Um, Athmin, if I were to choose reading, I would choose something a little bit more specific than just reading in general. I mean, I hope we all read books uh, usually. Uh, Vanessa says Sudoku. If you can explain what Sudoku is, Vanessa, then that will work. Okay. So don't just think of logic exercises. That's not specific enough. You have to be specific enough. Okay. Uh, Roshni says painting pictures. Okay. Um, sure, that's possible as well. Okay. So we can say boxing. Or uh, another one that came up mm, designing mazes, writing poems. Or reading poems. So if you're going to say reading, okay, uh, don't just generally say reading. It's not a good answer, all right? It's not, yes, it's a brain exercise, but it's not a brain exercise that you thought of doing. Okay, that's just something that you do since you're a school age student. But reading poetry, uh, it could be, okay, or writing poetry. Okay, those are good ones. All right, um, students, let's uh, choose one. Uh, just, I'm going to number these, and I'll take the most popular number for today. Okay, so one, two, three four, five. Now keep in mind, easy to talk about and unique. Not everybody's talking about it. Okay. So easy to talk about. Not everybody's giving this answer. Just choose a number and the most popular one that comes up in the chat, I'll go with that one. Okay. So Again, easy to talk about. Not all of the other candidates are talking about it. Okay. All right. So we've got a good mix. I'm seeing a lot of uh, number ones coming up. Are you sure you can talk about playing chess? Do you know the names of the pieces, the strategies, some famous chess players? Maybe. Okay. We can try it. I see that number one and number five seem to be the most popular. Okay, so lots of answers coming up. Uh, definitely number one uh, seems to be the most popular, and number five seems to be second most popular swimming. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to entertain the uh, majority vote playing chess. So we'll go with playing chess. Okay, for today. All right. Maybe we'll pick up some interesting vocabulary as well. Okay, all right, you can stop entering the numbers in now. We've made our choice. Chess came up as the most popular overall, and a lot of you are double voting. All right, so let's do chess. Let's talk about chess. Okay. So now, uh, what's our next step? Okay, and of course, in the real IELTS, you don't need to think of eight different concepts. If you can, that's great, but at least think of three. Okay, I think meditation was actually a very good one as well. Okay, so our choice is playing chess. All right, and uh, what do I do next? So until this point, I've only used 10 seconds, okay? Okay, so I only used about 10 seconds so far, maybe 15. So I read the questions carefully. I identified I'm talking about an idea. I know what I need to include. I thought about a few different options and I chose to talk about playing chess. Okay, that's 10 seconds. All right, now I still have 50 seconds left in my preparation time to actually write down some notes. Okay. Um, so what do I do? Rahul Preet says, definitely visualize. San, if you don't know how to play chess, that's totally fine. 
Okay, the idea here is to respawn. You'll learn more about it. Okay, playing chess uh, pre T is definitely an exercise to help you think better. I think many, many people who play chess will agree with that, okay? All right, um, so what I need to do is step number three, write down usable notes, okay? So think of the key elements and some specific ideas with quantitative information to write down usable notes, okay? What we're talking about here is maybe five to 10 uh, pairs of words, okay? Okay, so remember when you're talking about an idea you have to think about the reason for it. So why did you think about it? The time of the idea, the requirement of the idea, and the results of the idea, okay? So let's, uh, let's talk about that, okay? So for those of you who aren't too familiar with chess, don't freak out, okay? It's important to keep your mind open and be able to speak simply even about a game that you're not so familiar with, okay? All right, so Rajveer says, in evenings with mom, okay? So you're answering, Rajveer's answering the question of when do I play and who do I play with, okay? So Rajveer says, in the evenings, I play with mom, okay? Good. Okay, Pachu says two opponents. Now that's not very useful. I think that's clear. You don't really need to write that down. Hikmatillo says at home. Okay, so keep going, keep thinking, visualizing. Very good. Latifa says online with friends. Think of questions, students. How are you learning to play it? Okay. So Marasa says, sharpen my thinking. How about that, Marasa? Let's add another uh, qualitative word in there. Sharpen my strategic thinking. All right, so strategic thinking. All right, Hikmatillo says, 16 figures. Sure, that's a useful piece of note, okay. How are you learning it? Violet Nguyen says, my sister. Computer, girls and guys, ladies and gents, there are tons of computer games that help you uh, learn chess or computer chess games, okay. It's one of the first um, highly popular computer games is chess, okay? So Pachu says 64 squares. Yeah, it's an eight by eight board, right? So critical thinking. What else? Quick thinking, right? All right, so we're thinking a lot about playing chess, who we're playing, when we're playing, where we're playing, how we're playing it. Don't forget about the cue card, okay? When you're writing down your notes, always think about the cue card as well. So what is the activity exercise? Where did this idea come from? How can this practice improve your thinking? And what do you need to make this a reality, okay? And of course, 
Uh, what are the results of this idea? So how does it affect your life? Okay. So Rahul Preet says, anticipating the moves. Vishal says, how to survive in bad circumstances, different kinds of strategy, raises your IQ, your speed of thinking. Roshni says, I'm learning on YouTube. That's very, very good. Okay. Um, Hassan says, it's made of bones. So I, don't, I think that's a little off topic, Hassan. Um, let me ask you an important question here. Um, how does it help your life? Okay. So one of you is saying how to manage difficult circumstances. Okay, sure. Um, can you give me a more realistic? So just visualize it. You're playing chess. You've gotten really good at it. You're better at strategy. In what part of your life has it helped you? Give me an exact example of an issue it helped you to solve or a difficult situation. Okay. So how did it actually help you? Okay. So better family relationship, one of you said. Sure. Especially because you're playing with your sister and your mom, sure. How about this? Chess helped you make better investments, earn money, because you're looking at the situation from multiple perspectives, as you should in chess. Okay, good. So I think a lot of you now have uh, some great ideas. Basically here we're talking about a strategy game, right? Some of you said Monopoly. Uh, some of you might be more familiar with Mahjong. There are a lot of strategy games uh, in the world that are similar to chess, checkers as well, right? Um, for Dov says good grades at school. Sure, I'll add that one. Um, better in IELTS, <laughs> right? <laughs> Better study strategy for IELTS, right? Better grades in school. Those are all great. All right. So lots of notes. I can see that your uh, minds are now really flowing. You're coming up with good ideas. Uh, we have one more step. So right now we're at 50 seconds. Okay. So we're at 50 seconds in the prep time. We have one more step here, step four. And I think some of you said this earlier. Uh, write down your first sentence. It has to be direct. And has to use the topic. Okay. Give me the first sentence. So have your first sentence ready. It's extremely important that when the examiner says your one minute preparation time is up, please begin speaking. You start with a very clear, direct sentence. Okay. Uh, Abid is asking, can you just show me that topic one more time? Sure, Abid, I can do that. So it says, talk about an exercise you have thought of doing to help you think better. Okay, so use that statement and get your first sentence ready. Farhan says, I always enjoy the game because it's a mind game and requires lots of patience and intellect. Okay, use the question, Farhan. Uh, Nadia says, I like to play chess because um, it's a game I learned from my grandfather. Uh, Nadia, it's not bad, but you still have to use this question and directly answer it. Okay. Ritu says, exercises, whether they are physical or mental, help people in different ways. Ritu, I don't know what you're talking about. The question is, talk about an exercise you thought of doing to help you think better. Okay. Uh, Rajveer says, uh, Rajveer Singh says, an exercise which I thought is beneficial to improve my cognitive skills is playing chess. That's a band nine start. Good job, Rajveer. Okay. 
I'm going to write that down. So notice, students, this is a band nine start to your part two cue card. Why? It's very direct. It shows the examiner that you know exactly what you need to talk about. You're paraphrasing, and the examiner says, hey, all right, you're going to get right into it. Perfect. Okay. So Rajvir says, an exercise uh, which I thought is beneficial to my cognitive skills or for my cognitive skills is playing chess regularly. Okay? That's your band nine first sentence. It very directly answers the question, uses the question, um, and it gives clear direction for your audience. Uh, Marasa says, an interesting activity that I really appreciate and enhances my thinking strategy is playing chess with my dad. Marasa, that's another really good start. Dear who says, I would like to talk about an exercise which makes my mind focused for study. Um, you don't need to want to talk about it. You have two minutes to talk about it. So just talk about it. Get directly into it. You don't have to tell me what you would like to talk about. Just talk about it. Okay. Um, Shang Hung says, the exercise I like to play with my sister is chess to improve my thinking. So Shang Hung, you're almost there. Just finish the sentence. The exercise I like to play with my sister is chess which helps improve my thinking, okay? You need to get that component into the answer, which helps improve my thinking. Uh, Vanessa says, an interesting exercise that has helped me to think better is playing chess. Vanessa, good, it's a nice direct answer. Uh, Ferdov says, in my opinion, an exercise which I have been doing to enhance my brain more than others is playing chess. Very nice for Dobbs. Um, our zoo, Pruti, says, although I played several games and it supported me in my concentration and my studies in other sectors, uh, I don't think you're answering the question directly, Arzu. You need to talk about an exercise that has helped you to improve your thinking. Be direct, students. Be direct. Okay. Pachu says, an exercise that has helped me to think better is playing chess, which I played just last week. Yeah, Pachu, that's a good start. That works. That's a direct answer. All right. Um, what comes next? So an exercise which I thought is beneficial for my cognitive skills is playing chess regularly. Okay, give me the next sentence that can come after this one. Here are the notes. Okay, I'll move the notes down a little bit so you can see it all on the same page. All right. <clears throat> so in the evenings with mom, two opponents, online with friends, sharpen my strategic thinking, 16 figures. What do you think is a logical next step in your speaking here? Roshni says, uh, to be natural, can I put in words like, well, to be honest, an exercise. Um, Roshni, actually, yeah, but I don't recommend using to be honest. A lot of st students use that expression to be honest, and it's kind of weird uh, often for a native speaker because, of course, you're honest. Um, so to be honest, you only use that in some circumstances, I think. IELTS students overuse that, Roshni, that to be honest. Um, okay, so Chudriji007 says, the last time I played chess was with my father. I won the match. Uh, I don't think I would talk about with whom. So Pachu says, talk about whom. So Hassan says, on a flight to the UAE with my close friend, I played chess for the first time um, on a tablet, and since then, I'm addicted to it. Uh, Hassan, that's good. So where or when did this idea come from? That's a good way 
to um, continue. Uh, Rahul Preet says, it is a game of two opponents played on an eight by eight board consisting of eight figures. Rahul Preet, that's brilliant. Yeah, let's describe the game of chess to our listener. Maybe the examiner doesn't play chess. They don't really know what it's about, right? So it is a game of strategy played between two opponents on an eight by eight checkered board with 16 pieces each. What's the goal of the game? So think about when you're giving these little mini presentations for the cue card, think about logical question and answer sequencing. So you, of course, you want to describe this game to your listeners so they know clearly what you're talking about. Um, what's the next question, right? So an exercise which I thought is beneficial for my cognitive skills is playing chess regularly. It is a game of strategy played between two opponents on an eight by eight checkered board with 16 pieces each. My logical next question would be, what's the object of the game? So what is the goal of the game? Okay, just answer that question. What is the goal of the game? Hush Amano says the main goal of this game is to create a checkmate situation. Uh, Chavi says win the game by killing the king, right? In English, it's the king that you have to defeat. You don't actually kill the king, but you defeat the king. Yeah, so you defeat the opponent by putting the king in a checkmate situation where the king is no longer able to move. So the goal of this game is to put the opponent into a checkmate, which means, notice the use of adjective clause here, because I'm defining, which means the king is no longer able to move as it is trapped by other pieces. All right, so I'm defining it, right? Okay, an exercise which I thought is beneficial for my cognitive skills is playing chess regularly. It is a game of strategy. Students, when I'm reading, please speak and repeat. Okay, let's start from the top one more time. So speak and repeat, practice your speaking. I'll go a little bit slower. An exercise which I thought is beneficial for my cognitive skills is playing chess regularly. It is a game of strategy played between two opponents on an eight by eight checkered board with 16 pieces each. The goal of this game is to put the opponent into a checkmate, which means the king is no longer able to move as it is trapped by other pieces. Okay, all right. Now, we can talk about where this idea came from. So when did you fall in love with this idea? And I think, Hassan, you had a very usable uh, comment there. I'm just trying to find it. Yeah. Uh, one day on a flight to the UAE around last June. Try to be specific, students, always. Use your quantitative language. Around June, I played it for the first time on a tablet with my friend, and I have been addicted ever since. 
Okay, good. So far, so good. So now we're on a roll. We're explaining what the idea is, is to improve my thinking, how this game is played, where the idea came from. Now I'm a little bit stuck. I don't know what to say. What should I do? Panic? Stop speaking? Start repeating myself? A lot of students do that. They'll be like, oh yeah, and in the game there are, so they start to get into repetition. What do I do? So I'm on a roll, but I kind of, I've run out of ideas. I suddenly don't know what to say. What do I do? So what should I do? <laughs> In case your Islam says panic and just stop. <laughs> All right. Rajvir says you can ask questions to yourself. Sure. Uh, Fardav says look at the questions. Yeah. Um, Athmin says check your notes. Okay. Students, it is absolutely a good idea to use your notes and use the questions when you feel like you get stuck, okay? That's why you take notes. That's why you have the cue card for the whole three minutes because you should be using that. Some students ask me, Adrian, do I lose marks if I look at the questions again in the two minutes or my notes? No, you don't lose marks for that. The examiner knows that you're looking at the card and your notes because you're helping yourself think better, okay? You should do that, all right? Don't stare at them for half a minute. That's not a good idea, but check your notes, okay? So uh, here we have our notes, okay? So I play it in the evenings, online with friends, sharpen my skills, teacher, sister, computer, is teaching me critical thinking, quick thinking. I use a clock, lots of information here so I can definitely add some more sentences. Just choose one or two of those notes and start talking, okay? So give me some more notes, all right? Donnie Yurbeck is asking, isn't this too complex? No, if you're going for a band seven or higher, this is exactly what you need to do. And many of our students that we helped over the last 10 years often come back into these chats and they say, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, nope, Tiger, you cannot come to my speaking for the exam. I'm not sure why you're asking me that. Okay. All right. So back on target here. What are some next question or next sentences? Okay. So give me some more sentences. I'll start writing and then let's see if you come up with similar ideas. If you come up with different ones that are good, I'll just add them to mine. So these days I find myself playing chess at least three to four times a week with either friends, my sister, or my mom as they too love the game. I have been reading books and using computer software to improve my skills and strategic thinking. Not only has chess deepened my relationship with my parents and siblings, but my quick analytic thinking has improved immensely. Okay. So, uh, nice fluency students, exactly those techniques. I just used some of those notes. I put them into sentences 
And all the meanwhile, I'm keeping in mind the original question, which is an idea I have used to help me think better, an exercise I do to help me think better. So it's helping me improve quick analytic thinking, right? So I keep coming back to that idea, okay? All right, so let's see what some of our students say. Rahul Preet says, to excel in the game, I check the rules and regulations after landing. It's not bad, but Rahul Preet, don't get too lost in one narrow avenue of thought, okay? So get off the plane, come back into the now, keep thinking of the original questions on the cue card, okay? So don't over describe one part of the game. It's very important, members, if you're looking for those high band scores, to answer uh, all of the questions, especially these last two. So how can this practice help improve your thinking and what do or did you need to make this idea a reality? You really have to make sure that you're answering those questions, okay? So don't go off topic, don't get sidetracked. Remember, we're focusing on the exercise that's helping you improve your thinking, okay? Roshni says, this game not only assists me to remember different activities in critical time, but also improves my thinking. Good, Roshni. So you're coming back to the controlling idea of the question. Hassan says, since I'm playing chess, I believe this game not only boosts my emotional intelligence, but also my psychosocial skills. Nice use of some social science terminology, Hassan. Aisana Bir, our new member, says playing chess helped me to increase my problem-solving skills as well as exercise both sides of my brain. Sure. That's great. Okay, we'll add that in, Aisana. That's a nice piece of information. So playing chess has really helped improve or better, because I just used the word improve, better my problem solving skills. And exercise both hemispheres of my brain, okay? So uh, Aisana, we call it the left and the right hemisphere, just like the world, okay? In the, in the world, we have the north and south hemisphere. In the brain, we have the left and the right hemisphere. It's the two sides of our brain. Sure. In fact, my improved thinking has also led to better or more money as I am now more confidently and as I am now more confident and skillful in making uh, stock investments. Okay. Now, I want to be careful not to go off topic. If uh, my uh, two minutes is up, the examiner will stop me. So I want to make sure that I'm answering all of the questions, okay? I want to go back and check and see, have I done that? Have I met the criteria in the question, okay? What is the activity? Yes, definitely. Where did it come from? I answered it. How can it help me improve my thinking? I think I answered that as well. What do or did you need to make this idea a reality? I think we just have a partial answer. So we can finish by including one or two sentences, making sure that we answer this. So what do or did you need to make this idea a reality? So give me one or two sentences, students. What do I need to make the idea of playing chess to think better a reality and I can check my notes as well so figures chessboard pieces opponent sister mom computer maybe a clock and some time 
to play, right? So I have all of those ideas. Now I want to put that all into some clear sentences. All right. So what do I need? Just give it to me. Use your own words. Be original. I want to finish with some of your ideas. Okay. So Ferdov says, to make my brain exercise a reality, I needed some chess apps on my smartphone and laptop. For dubs, use your um, adjectives, okay? Brain exercise. To make my brain exercise a reality, I needed a few chess apps on my phone and laptop. Okay. Diru Bai says, to make this idea a reality, I needed to practice and play every day and uh, gain confidence by defeating opponents. In addition, I needed to free up some time to practice and build confidence by defeating some opponents like my sister and mom. Sure. Okay, because we said that earlier. All right, Sunshine Grace. I'm glad you joined up as a member. Remember to send me uh, an email. Okay, all right. So, um, fortunately, I had all of these. And now I've improved my thinking as a result. All right, so let's finish it up. Okay, students, you've done a fantastic job. I think you can all give yourselves a nice pat on the back. You've given me some beautiful sentences. We've kept to the topic. We've met the criteria of the cue card. We've gone through the right steps, okay? Now, to finish up, Let's go through this together, speak and repeat together with me, okay? One more time, the cue card question. Talk about an exercise you have thought of doing to help you think better. What is the activity or exercise? Where did this idea come from? How can this practice help improve your thinking? What do or did you need to make this idea a reality? Here we go. Repeat, read with me. An exercise which I thought is beneficial for my cognitive skills is playing chess regularly. It is a game of strategy played between two opponents on an 8x8 checkered board with 16 pieces each. The goal of this game is to put the opponent into a checkmate, which means the king is no longer able to move as it is trapped by other pieces. One day on a flight to the UAE around last June, I played it for the first time on a tablet with my friend and I have been addicted ever since. These days, I find myself playing chess at least three to four times a week with either friends, my sister or my mom, as they too love the game. I have been reading books and using computer software to improve my skills and strategic Thinking not only has chess deepened my relationship with my parents and siblings, but my quick analytic thinking has improved immensely. Playing chess has really helped better my problem solving skills and exercised both hemispheres of my brain. In fact, uh, my improved thinking has also led to more money as I am now more confident and skillful in making stock investments. To make my brain exercise a reality, I needed a few chess apps on my phone and laptop. In addition, I needed to free up some time to practice and build confidence by defeating some opponents like my sister and mom. Fortunately, I had all of these and now I've improved my thinking as a result. 
That's your band nine, two minute response, okay? Donny Urbeck, the examiner will definitely stop you when your two minutes are up. They should, they'll say, okay, your two minutes is up. Now we will continue with part three. For part three, I will ask you some more questions related to the topic of part two. Part three speaking, students, questions and answers related to this topic of part two will be coming up in tomorrow's class at the same time. So practice makes perfect students. Keep it up. Hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Until then, definitely check out our websites for lots of great videos. We have 30 speaking video interview examples in our premium package at aehelp.com and gieltshelp.com. Definitely check us out there. Students, this is the general version of our website here. Click that red button to join at gieltshelp.com. And for academic, check us out at aehelp.com, blue background. Click that red button to join us there. You are most welcome, students. You're most welcome, Anatoly, Hikmatillo, Tushar, Mandre. You're all welcome. Thank you, Vanessa. Bye for now. Much love from the heart of Budapest. Wishing you a great rest of your day. And if you're getting ready for bed, sweet dreams. Bye for now.